What about Michigan State and Michigan, Trace? Uh, you know, Michigan State didn't do such a good job taking care of the ball last week, and I know Michigan's defense is one of the best in the Big Ten. Coach Don Brown's going to have him ready to get some turnovers again today. I'm going with the Wolverines. Yep. I think everybody pick, across Trace. the board, I think everybody is going with mm-hmm. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. well, we'll, we'll uh, everybody's going with maize and blue right now. That's that talent I'm talking about, Gus. Boy, he flashes some of that stuff, and it's like, wow, he has got some serious abilities. This defensive line, Gus, very talented, very active, led by Quiddy Pay. I think he's on the verge of potentially an All-American type season. They're second level, very experienced. And then you've got a very good secondary, albeit young at the corner position with Green and Brett. We know the arm, the arm talent on film oozes, but for me it's the legs and his ability to run the football, and I think that's what makes him such a unique weapon for this offense moving forward. But the weapons between Corum and Al and Jackson, all those guys that we talked about, and then you go to the running backs, we can go three or four deep with them. So a lot of weapons, he makes everybody better. Uh, when I look at this defense, I just the effort to me is just the difference between last year and this year. Uh, this is the team that we kind of expected from Harbaugh from the time he stepped in at Michigan. But now that they're here, what are they going to do with it? Because I believe they keep up this pace, they keep playing well. Our coach, I got to say it again, I think they have a shot at the end of the season. I think offensively, we're we're seeing a new look Wolverines. You know, Joe Milton is the perfect quarterback, in my opinion, for what Jim Harbaugh uh, and Josh Gaddis want to do. From Michigan, was the t- was the corner being turned offensively? Joe Milton, their quarterback, is an incredibly talented guy. He's he's huge, first of all. He's got a quick, quick release, one of the strongest arms that I've seen in college football in the last four or five years, stronger than Josh Allen or even Herbert. I mean, throws absolute lasers. He can run it pretty well. But let me just say this. If this defensive effort continues, if the Michigan offense effort continues, I think they have a shot to beat Ohio State at the end of the season. Coach, what you got to say about that? We could, Jim Harbaugh may have finally found his quarterback. This young man from Pahokee, Florida is no average joke. Whew. Red, Reg, listen, man, I'm right there with you, man. I'm bullish on the Michigan defense as well. But in particular, one player. Now, I already put him in the Heisman Club, but you know what? Now, I got to show you why. On the outside, their skill position players. Speed, speed, and more speed. This is the fastest Michigan team that they've had. I'll tell you what, his arm talent, Gus, is as good as I've seen in any number of years at the college level. He's got a huge arm. They're ranked 13th in the nation, but Joel, you have them in your top 10. Yeah, after last week, they look so good. So now all of a sudden you've got the power-oriented running game, a quarterback that can throw it, and still a defense that I think can can be efficient and certainly rush the quarterback. This may be Jim Harbaugh's best Michigan team. I'm bullish on Michigan after watching them last week. All right. We told you these Wolverines are not your average Wolverines. These are Bo Schimbeckler's Wolverines. 